So today we are solving ISS 2021 paper number 1. Okay. So in this question, if xn equal to n greater than 1 equals a sequence of independent and identically distributed random variables with e of x1 equal to 1, e of x1 to the power 4 less than infinity and uh, sum of these minus 5n and is following this normal distributions and variance of x1. So here this thing, if we take limit n tends to infinity probability of x1 square x2 square dot 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 xn square minus 5n divided by root over 12n less than equal to x to be a phi z so comparing by clt we get that e of summation of xi square equal to 5n so v of summation of xi square equal to 12n so e of xi equal to 1 this is given so e of xi square simply will be five and v of xi square is twelve. So v of xi equal to e of xi square mean minus e of xi. So v of xi is five minus one that is four. So option number A is correct. Next one. Uh, let x have the continuous distribution function that is CDF. Consider the following statements. Statement 1 and 2. y equal to minus log of fx is exponentially distributed and fx is uniformly distributed. So both statements are correct. Which of the correct? So that is the normal question here. So follows a random variable uh, u of 0, 1. This is so f of x follows u of uh, 0 1 since x follows uh, u of 0 1 then y equal to minus of log is this is exponentially distributed okay so f of x equal to follows a u of 0 comma 1 so y equal to minus of log of fx so this is also exponential so both the options are correct and statement 2 is a correct explanation for statement 1. So option A is right. Next one 28. So let y1 and y2 be the independent random variables defined as y1 equal to 2x1 plus 3x2 and y2 equal to x1 plus 2x2. x1 and x2 are independent random variables. Further variance of x1 is 72 and variance of y2 is 75. So what is the value of two third of variance of x1 minus 4x2? So V of y1 is two variance of 2x1 plus 3x2 equal to 72. So 4 V of x1, 9 V of x2 square and IID. So V of x1 is 72, 9 of V of x2 minus 4. So this is 1. Similarly, v of x2 is v of x1 plus 2x2 equal to 25. So, v of x1 plus 4 of v of x2 equal to 25. So, v of x1 is 25 minus 4 v of x2. So, from 1 and 2 we get 72 minus 9 v of x2 by 4 equal to 25 4 v of x2 so if we just solve it so then we get 7 we take 7 into v of x2 is 28 so v of x2 is 4 okay and v of x1 is 25 minus 4 square 16 that is 9 so v of 2 third x1 minus 4 x2 is nothing but 4 by 9 into 9 that is 9 and plus 16 by 4 so 468 is the answer so option number d is correct